I can't wait to try them out. Let's get started. This looks good. And I don't usually even enjoy pork at all. There's not a whole lot to work with. You're still pretty limited. As much as I liked them, there are a couple of reasons that I might not go back though. Let me just say that they... I'm Crystal and today I am unboxing a new to me company. It's Pete's Real Food. I ordered their autoimmune protocol plan. I can't wait to try them out. The box is a little smaller than I expected. Usually I end up having to put the box on the floor and open it to check it out from there, but I can leave it on the counter today. Let's get started. Here is the list of what I ordered. Open it up. There is insulation here. So let's see what we have. Ice pack, this looks good. A garlic and herb turkey roulade with apples, onions, and roasted yams. Ah, more turkey. It's just after Thanksgiving, so lots of turkey. This is the thyme roasted turkey with artichoke and fennel, roasted rutabaga. This is the thyme roasted turkey with artichoke and fennel baragul. I'm sure I mispronounced that word, and roasted rutabaga. Then we have balsamic braised pork with acorn squash and kale. I am a sucker for squash and kale if you haven't been able to tell yet. Then there's this chicken sausage with mashed sweet potato and gravy. And looks like the last one, this is roasted garlic grilled chicken with crispy garlic broccoli. Okay, I'm gonna pop those in the fridge and try them out over the course of the week and then I'll come back with my final thoughts. Hey there, I'm back with my thoughts on Pete's Real Food. I tried the autoimmune protocol diet. Let me just say that they kind of amazed me. <laughs> they made me enjoy meals that I expected to be boring. The flavors were amazing. They even made me like pork and I don't usually even enjoy pork at all. Mostly I was just impressed by how much flavor they had because if you're familiar with the AIP diet, there's not a whole lot to work with. I mean, there's some, but you're still pretty limited. It didn't have strong flavor, but the flavor was just good. The calorie counts and macros were pretty good. I felt energized. I didn't feel sick from eating too much of any one thing. I was full. After I placed the order, they kept in touch through email, so I never really had to wonder where my meals were or when they were going to get here. I felt like I was in the loop the whole time. As much as I liked them, there are a couple of reasons that I might not go back though. The number one is the shipping cost. This might not be a problem for everybody, but for me, they had to ship, I guess, from San Diego to the Atlanta area, and it was just a little bit over $40 to ship five meals. The meals themselves ranged from $16 to $19, and then with the shipping costs and all of the state and county taxes based on where I live, the meals actually came out to be about $27.10 each. <laughs> That's a lot. And there's one more thing, and this is common across a lot of the meal delivery services where you get individual meals. Because they're vacuum sealed, the plastic sits right on top of the food. So when you cook it in the microwave, the plastic's still sitting right there. So I don't really love that. There are other ways I could have cooked it, but I just was popping them in the microwave. So one other thing, I have to say it, even though it sounds bad, some of the meals when I pulled them out of the box did not look appetizing. Some of them look good but some of them were just like, eh, I don't know about that one. But once I cooked them or heated them back up, they looked better and everything tasted so good. It wasn't like I had to choke anything down. It was just a good meal. So I do recommend checking these out if you're interested. Maybe the shipping cost won't be as much for you as it was for me. And if that's the case, that is awesome. I definitely recommend checking them out, especially if you're looking for um, an autoimmune diet menu. There aren't a whole lot of them out there that I've seen anyway. I'm still just amazed by how much they could do with the limitations of the autoimmune protocol. I am impressed. So if you like videos like this and you want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe.